Hi everyone, Petal is Blessed here. I'm coming on today to share with you guys my DIY floral wedding centerpiece. Okay, here are the items that we're going to need. I got this vase from Dollarama. I got this one from Dollar Tree. Um, I got these rhinestones from Dollarama also, but the Dollar Tree also has them. And I got the flowers from Dollar Tree. The glue is also from Dollar Tree. I want to use a stronger glue to hold this one together more than the um, glue stick. I have some glitter here that I got from Walmart. And this big foam ball I got from Dollarama also. Alright everyone, let's get started on this DIY. Here we go. Okay, we're going to start by gluing the rhinestones all the way around the vase. You know, you know, it should be, it should be. When summer comes around, uh, yeah, it should be around you. Yeah, he should be. And I'm not trying to be a hater, but tell me why you stay with him. Okay, and here we go. After about an hour, um, I've finished. <laughs> and here's the finished look. And as you can see, I did large rhinestones and I did small rhinestones. Large, small, large, small. So it turns into a nice pattern. It looks very nice. It took me about an hour to do this. I was watching The Young and the Restless <laughs> while I was doing it. So the time went by very nice, but I got it done and I think it looks very nice. Okay, now we're going to have to um, glue the other vase onto this vase so that's the next step okay here we go um i glued them together and i had it sit overnight to make sure that it's um dried very well and i think it is it looks very nice so the glue i used was the glue from the dollar tree okay what i did with the um vase is i turned it upside down and glued them together so the vase with the rhinestone i turned it upside down and glued the bottom Onto the other part. Now we're gonna um, add the flowers to the foam ball. The flowers I have here, I cut some already. Just gonna cut a few more pieces to go with it. Now we're going to add the crystal gems to the vase. And the next step is we're going to add some Mod Podge to the bottom of the flower ball. And then we're going to put the silver glitter over it. So when I place it back in the vase, you see only the glitter next to the crystal gems at the bottom. And here we go, <laughs> my lovely DIY bling wedding floral centerpiece. I think it looks so nice.
right, everyone. Thank you so much for coming on today and seeing my DIY that I did. And remember, as always, stay blessed from Petal is Bless. <laughs> Bye-bye, everyone. <laughs>